हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे मॉर्निंग आई विल शो यू द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विद नाउ दिस इज ब्रोंगोस्कोप एंड दिस इज इसोफेगोस्कोप बोथ दिस स्कोप्स दे आर हैविंग होलो मेटल ट्यूब सो विद दिस थ्रू दिस ट्यूब वी कैन वॉच द स्ट्रक्चर्स इनसाइड द अदर ब्रोंगोस्कोप और ब्रोंकस और ट्रेकिया और द इसोफेगस Now you can see the main difference between these two instruments, between the isophagoscope and the bronchoscope, is these vents, these openings. So these vents they will provide ventilation to the through the bronchus, which is not uh, which is uh, not inserted in which that this bronchoscope is not inserted. So this will provide point of ventilation. Another difference you can see on the isophagus, you can see this marking. so this marking you can see that will show us how much deep the lesion is how much deep the site the structure or the form body or the lesion or the uh, ulcer is there that we can know so there are you know about the various constrictions of the esophagus so the first most constricted part is this uh, pharyngoesophageal junction so that will come at around 15 cm from the upper central incisor so you count this distance from the upper central incisors So at the 15 cm, we will encounter the lower sphincter, or you can say the upper sphincter of the esophagus, that is the cricopharyngeal pharynx. And at the 22 and 25, then we will encounter another constriction, and that is the for the this bronchus and the arch of aorta. And the last and the lower most narrow narrowest part is the uh, esophageal end, and that will come at around 40 cm distance from the upper central incisors. So through this, we can measure the Or we can know the depth of that uh, lesion, and in this again you can see these are the having fiber optic uh, uh, carrier, and this is the light carrier. So this light carrier will be connected through the flexible cable, and that flexible cable is attached to the light source. And there are two type of illumination: negus and the jackson. Now this is jackson type. So you can see at the end, you can see. the end of this carrier okay so this distal this is the distal and this is the proximal end so in jackson type the illumination is at the distal end and then you can see this handle this handle will show us the direction of this beveled edge so this lower end is beveled you can see and is tip it will show us this handle will indicate uh, the site of the tip Similarly, this is the bronchoscope. As I was, I was telling you, this is the uh, carrier, light carrier, and this will attach to this uh, flexible uh, cable and the flexible fiber optic cable that is attached to the light source. Again, this handle you can see it will show us the tip of this beveled edge. So it will be introduced like this. Then you can be asked regarding the indication of the bronchoscopy, and the most common indication. is the foreign body that is therapeutic indication and among the diagnostic indications the most common is biopsy taking or we can take this uh, bronchoalveolar lavage that we can uh, we can take and we can uh, even dilate some stricture also if it is there that that will be again therapeutic so these are the so you should know the common indications of this bronchoscopy as well as this esophagoscopy and again the common indications the therapeutic indications are the dilatation of the esophageal structure and the uh, diagnostic indication the most common is the uh, this your biopsy taking biopsy so we can take biopsy we can examine the entire length of the esophagus and if lesion is suspicious we, from there we can take the biopsy so you should remember the most common diagnostic as well as the therapeutic indications so this is direct laryngoscope direct laryngoscope means we will be seeing the, again this is metal hollow tube and this is the handle okay this will remain when we are introduced and you can see this light carrier again and again it is negus type you can see that the distal end the end of the this light carrier this is this light carrier you can see so this is distal end so the light uh, uh, lighting is this jackson type and this is a carrier again it be attached to the uh, flexible uh, tube a uh, flexible sorry cable and the flexible table will be attached to the light source and the light will come here 
this is empty a commissure uh, direct laryngoscope and it can be fixed with the chest this is the chest support you can see and there this chest support you can see and this was the uh, laryngoscope and this is the connection with which we can fix this uh, scope so this will go So it can be introduced like that and again we can just screw it. So this end will go into the throat, you can understand, and this will be attached here. And then it can be fixed. And then we can bring it down also, like this, with the help of this. You can put it, this is the chest support, so this portion will remain on the chest. That fixing it, the surgeon, they both hands they will be free, and with the free hands we can uh, manipulate. We can see, or we can do whatever the lesion is there in the larynx that we can uh, see as well as the perform their surgery through this hollow metal tube. So it will remain fixed, and the surgeons both the hands they will be free.